thing obliterated my mailbox. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. So far on this air and snow throw, we tore off the uncooperative Tecumseh engine, installed a Predator 212cc engine, which did give us some better throwing ability. And in this video, we're giving this Predator a power boost. Stick around. Now stop! Disclaimer alert, this trick will give your snowblower about a 10 to 15% power boost. If your engine is brand new, then it will most likely void your warranty. Will it blow your engine? From everything I've seen, read, and people I've talked to, no. Will it make your engine work a bit harder? Yes! Are there risks involved? Maybe. These Predator engines were designed to operate as they were constructed, and modifying them is more than likely not recommended by the manufacturer. So modify them at your own risk. Let me be clear that I am doing this to have fun with this project. Will it make your snowblower throw farther? Possibly. Can you do this to any snowblower? Depends. Your engine situation may vary. Little tweaks can lead to some big peaks in terms of performance. And all you're gonna need for this application is a Phillips screwdriver and an hour meter. First, you're gonna need to have an hour meter installed or hooked up to your engine. Super cheap and easy to do, and I'll have a video link down below in the description on that. Right now, this engine runs at 3,800 RPM right out of the box. What we're gonna do is kick it up to 4,100 RPM. Give it a little juice, you know. I have gotten a lot of good information from this Garage Gear community on this topic. Some recommended cranking it up to 4,000 RPMs, some say 4,500, and quite a few recommended 4,100 RPMs. That seems to be the sweet spot. So we're gonna dial it in to 4,100 RPMs. This won't stress the engine out a lot and give us enough boost to really send some snow. Here is what to do. First, locate the throttle screw on the top of the engine. In this case, on this Predator, it's between the air filter assembly and the gas tank. Then you're gonna wanna take a Sharpie and mark that screw where it currently is. That should do. Just in case you have to reset this for some reason, we're marking it so that way you know exactly where you left it. This throttle screw has an important job of stopping or limiting your RPMs. So what we're gonna do is put a minor adjustment on it. Now what we're going to do is take the snowblower, park it outside, and turn it on. You may wanna let the snowblower engine warm up for a few minutes to achieve a steady level of RPMs. Once your engine is running steadily, take your screwdriver and locate that throttle screw. Begin turning your throttle screw counterclockwise in quarter turns. Slowly turn it up to 4,100 RPMs. I'm only turning this engine up about 300 RPMs from 3,800 to 4,100. If you're doing this on any other engine, your numbers may vary. Here is a comparison of the auger spinning at 3,800 RPM, and now here is a clip of the auger spinning at 4,100 RPM. You can see that everything is moving a bit faster. Now while that engine's running back there, what we're gonna do is check our snow consistency. Pretty packable, time to send it. So I just measured all this snow that was thrown and the farthest dots of where the snow landed, landed at 44 feet. Not too shabby for a brand new engine on an old snowblower. Now let's give this snowblower another test. This is sloppy wet gutter snow from all along the side of the street. It's sopping wet and about a foot high. Now there's no impeller kit on this snowblower, but let's see how powerful it is when facing a big pile of heavy wet snow. Without an impeller kit, that was really good. That thing obliterated my mailbox. I would say we're at about the farthest chunks landing right here, over 30 feet. Without an impeller kit, those are some impressive numbers. My parents just drove by. So did this modification to the engine help us? Absolutely. Tuning this engine allowed us to throw snow about almost 10 feet further than the last time we ran it at 3,800 RPM. Now, with cranking it up from 3,800 RPM to 4,100, the question is, is it louder? Just a tiny, tiny bit, but if you ask me, I think it's actually running smoother now than it was before. We were on a mission to turn this old snow throw into a tank, and now we're one step closer. This is a huge improvement over the old Tecumseh. I'm into this snowblower now for less than 200 $105 and we have a real beast on our hands. If you enjoyed this video, give me one of these. Interested in picking up some Garage Gear gear? Then check out the links down below in the description. For more cool Garage Gear content, check out my links right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.